Uh, good evening, everyone. It is, uh, what day is it? May? So, we are going to do a, uh, more Red Baron situation in which he told me that he's looking for his wife and kid, but I learned from a very gifted psychic person, Pellet, that, I, you know, who I found his goat. He told me that he has a bastard son or baby that was unborn. So I gotta figure out what's going on here. I have to have a conversation with him. Alright, so let's do that. Okay. Not yet. I got no victories here. Alright, so let's continue. As you can see, there's a fire going on as I got back. And uh, I gotta find out what's going on with this Baron. Get a bump into so many people. And this was my second recording. Because the first one, there was absolutely no volume. None. You can hear me. No way you can hear the character. Oswin. Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? I believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! I'll save the horses. Oswin, my brother, he's still in the stables. Save him. I'm working on it. Looks like rain. Damn it, lots of smoke. Gotta hurry. Okay, where's the guy that says... I always wondered, where are you?
Yeah, save the horses. Animal lovers rejoice. Rejoice on such an occasion. Ha 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 ha! We've a hero in our midst. You've earned yourself a barrel of lyrian. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating him for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Ah! They ran from you, didn't they? Lying prick! Take that, homie. I don't let a drunk guy beat me up. Let's say how how bad I am at this game. Yeah, how bad I am. I love the story. I have to beat him. How f oh shoot! Right back at him. They ran from you, didn't they? Lying prick! Mistake. I don't want to show my face because it's an interesting story. But let Sit it down. Be. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna. That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. Your wife. How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. You knew they had run away from the start? Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? 
<coughs> I would sympathize with this kind of guy, but not too much. Tell me everything you remember about the day they fled. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. How true to life can this be? Tomorrow present for all this, she see you quarrel. Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? I. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Seen a lot of dead in my time, but that must have been hard. Unspeakably so. My legs gave out. I saw fields of corpses at Sodden. Saw witches burn in Maribor. But compared to this, all that was a rabbit's prick alongside a great oak. And the guilt is all mine. We don't know that yet. The amulet and a war could be linked somehow. Maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? Wrapped it in a clean sheet and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher? My child was dead. Hey. Uh, sympathize or keep him stable? No, I feel your pain. It's better that way. Sympathize. I sympathize. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your Siri. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. 
What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking... what? Let me explain. A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how? How does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Okay. I'll do that. I'll try to give the... Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her. And I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. Yeah. I would say let's do this, but I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna take a nap. And can, you know, go through this emotional turmoil right now in terms of, like, lost babies and what. Need to tend to something first. Be quick. And me, what am I to do in the meantime? Sober up. Alright, so that's it for today. I'm gonna take a break. Hope he doesn't get mad at me. Okay, so. Yeah. So I will see you all for the next time that I play this game mm -hmm. and we'll get the conclusion of this family matters situation. Alright, good night y'all.